Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use Pix4D fields to generate a spot spraying application for a field um, that you mapped just moments before. It could also be used for the same thing as um, creating a granular application, a seeding application, or any sort of application. But in this example, I'm going to show you how to make a spot spraying application. So to start, we start with our map. Now this was processed very quickly in the field. Just takes a few minutes. You click import folder, you select your images folder, and then you import them. And as soon as you get these um, imported, you just make sure to select you know, the options for processing that you want. If you want full resolution, you uncheck this. If you want uh, less resolution or you want to set a minimum ground sampling, distance, maybe you only want a one meter pixel or whatnot, you can select this other box. Um, this was a clear day and this was a Sequoia camera. I'm going to turn on rig relative calibration and radiometric calibration. I click apply and then I click start. To save time, I'm just going to go ahead and use the map that we have. So to show you really quickly, you can now have this map. And once that's done, you want to import your boundaries. Because, of course, we want to analyze the crop that we're looking at, not the waterway or the trees or the roads or anything like that. To do this, you can import your shape or you can actually just um, draw one. It's much faster to import, though. I have these from uh, one of my fields. And then you just click Trim. When you click Trim, you select which one you want to trim, the ortho mosaic, and then you process that really quickly here and you now have a trimmed image. Now to figure out where you want to spray or where you want to do certain things, you want to actually uh, probably use our visualization tools, but first we want to generate an index. So I'm going to click index. And just for simplicity in this example, I'm just going to use an NDVI, I'm not going to get too scientific. We generate this. And now that we have this, we can see good areas and bad areas. So we can mess with this a little bit to, to change the way this looks. Maybe we will just want to isolate the specific areas that we want to treat. And in this case, I'm just going to isolate this area in the middle, this area up here in the northwest. And we can go ahead and just um, work with it this way. Now, in order to do this, we need to make an area annotation. So we're going to go ahead and trace this in a clockwise pattern. So we're going to go ahead and go like this. We're just going to draw around the areas that we want to treat. Now, I would avoid going in little crevices like this. This type of activity is actually too difficult for most spraying drones to, to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to get rid of these these points by dragging them into each other and get rid of them and simplify this to just look um, like this. That makes it a lot easier for the application to work. And you might miss some of these areas. It just depends on what type of treatment you're doing. In this case, I'm doing just a general treatment of this area. And so I just have to have a rough shape. And the more vertices that you do add, the harder it is for some of these drones to load. So I would encourage keeping you know, a low number of vertices in a simpler shape. That way it can be easily loaded and not too complicated for it to, uh, to, look, to, uh, to do this. And let's check that. Now let's just say we want to edit this again. Maybe we made a mistake. I'm going to go in here. I click that Edit button. I'm just going to not do this bottom part I've decided. I go, okay, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go to here. Okay. You can make this as complicated or as less complicated as you want. I'm going to mark this spray. I'm going to put some product down, say, I, 
have no idea what I want to put in there. Uh, this is a late stage crop. This is just an example, but let's make another one for this up here in this corner. Again, we do not want to make complicated shapes, so we're just going to go around here and we're going to just maybe forget that little area up here because it doesn't really matter that much. Once done, click accept. We're going to label it spray as well. And we can even be more specific if we want to. We could come back in here and edit it and say this is the spray in the northwest and this is the spray in the uh, in the center. Okay. You can see how many acres there are right here. We have 12.9 acres here and 2.14 acres here for a treatment. Now we just need to export these to our drone of choice. To do so, we just click Export, I click Annotations, and I can separate these. I can, I can just export just the northwest or just the center, depending on what I want to do. I'm just going to select this and then make it a shape file, okay? Most, most devices do import shape files or KMLs, so you could export this and this if you want to. Click Export, we're going to say Spray. And then, then it gives us that zip file. Now, I'm going to take the zip file that I just created. I'm going to put it in a uh, SD card. So we're going to export it to here. And we're going to put those in there. And we're going to make, for example, if we have a DJI drone, they have a specific folder structure. So what we want to do is create a folder called DJI and then within that folder we need to make another folder called shapefile once that's created now we want to put our we want to unzip these files into there so I'm going to unzip this here and I'm going to collect these files that we have and I am going to cut them and I'm going to paste them in the shapefile folder. I can also, if I have other jobs, I can put separate folders in the shapefile folder. It's also allowed. I can say spray job one and I can take this and move it into there. And that will also work. Now I'm going to just clean this up and get rid of these other pieces because I don't need them. And this should be ready to go for your controller. Uh, you would want to have it on a micro SD card in order to make it so that it can go into your controller. Um, other platforms, they take SD cards. You can probably bring it into a laptop possibly. And that, that laptop would make it, you know, they, it has the flight control software for there. And they normally use KMLs or something of similar um, uh, structure. Now, if you were going to, say, spray the whole entire field, the other option you could do is export the boundary. This would be pretty simple by just clicking here. You can grab the whole boundary. Now, I imported this, but say you drew it, you know, based off of the image that you just flew or the, the, the um, field you just flew, then you could select your boundary that you've drawn. You can export that as a KML or a shapefile as well into that same structure. And then you could spray the whole field if you're not just spraying you know, a small portion or a spot spraying application. So this is a good example of how you could spray the whole field if you wanted to, um, if you didn't have that shape file beforehand. And finally, if you want to create a record of your application, you could also create a PDF report, which works pretty slick. You just select the NDVI, you know, that we based this off of with the annotations on it. And you could also use the ortho mosaic if you want to just have that picture in there and then click export. And then you can look at your PDF report. And that is a good record for anybody that would want, you know, to validate their, their, their records that they've applied. So you can see really quickly right here that we have this and you can see those areas that we um, identified. And there's your spray areas as well. 
So in less than 10 minutes, we were able to map a field, create an index and highlight areas of interest, create uh, you know zones for spraying, and export that in a format that's readable by most sprayer drones. Now, when we were done with that, we finished with a PDF report just to highlight our records and pass that on to our grower or keep it ourselves. And um, that's all it takes. So uh, there you have it for in less than 10 minutes, you can go from a map to a spot spraying application with Pix4D fields. Thanks.